living. And thank you for staying with us. I'm back with Benjamin Rhodes, Quincy Powell, and Montez Powell with Highways and Hedges organization here to tell us about a three-day event that's going to bring the city of Monroe alive and change so many lives. Yes. Quincy, let's continue the question that I asked you before we went to a break. Your church is, has a partnership with Highways to Hedges. Tell us about that. Absolutely. So we being a church, we're one of seven churches here between Texas and Louisiana. My senior pastor is Pastor Channing Hudson, and the visionary that we have is Apostle Wendell Archie. And because we understand that people do believe in a higher power, mm -hmm. and what we're trying to do, we're trying to connect people to that higher power to show them there's a better way to live their lives versus resulting in crime and hardship. And so what we do, we couple with this organization that's a nonprofit and their heart is to go out there and win the loss. So um, we can all see the, uh, people change their lives mm -hmm. through that movement. Yes. And once you reach someone, they've got a church directly to go to. I think that's awesome. Uh, Montez, we talked about lose crime and win hope. And you've taken a bad situation from your life and you've made it positive and you've changed so many lives. What is the influence that you've seen on communities and uh, also mentioned with the police officers as well? Yes, uh, I was a repeat offender. Um, I, I realized the life that I was living, I've learned that through uh, different things that I've engaged in, seeing other people engage in certain different things. And uh, it got to the point where I started taking police on the high speed chase, shooting, toting the guns and things like that. But you know, I, what I've noticed about a lot of people, they want, they want to fit in. And this organization is gonna show you hundreds of young men and women that I actually made this life change, that actually there was drug dealers, those that even was involved in, in, in violent crimes and uh, uh, gangs, you know, uh, strung out on drugs and alcohol and things like that, have now recovered themselves through this organization. Why? Because they've seen other people that, that came out of that condition. That's what brings hope to the community. Mm -hmm. You know, not just going out and telling people that they need to change, but when they see the life change in you, when they see that, hey, I once know uh, old Joe or old black on the street, mm -hmm. and look at his life now. He's a productive citizen. He's someone that's actually uh, uh, been successful in life when he once had no hope. And so through this march that we're bringing to the community, we want to let the city know, you know, you don't have to remain in the same condition. And many of them may they commit these crimes. Lots of times they lose hope because they know they are repeat offenders. They have felony in some of their records. And many of the times they feel no one will hire them. So they result to the most easiest thing is to sell the drugs. You know, and through that, you know, you, you got the guns and all of these other things. But we want to let you know that there's hope. You know, we come out to show the people a new life because if we don't parade this life, people won't know about this life. You can actually be free and have a new life. Well, we can't thank you enough for coming on this show and for all you're doing to help others in our community. And we know that this event coming up is going to be a great success and change lives. We're out of time, but uh, if anyone would like more information on this event, they can go to myarchivist.com. We'll have it all there. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back.